Okay guys, so we're going to be building uh, all of this. We're going to be building the accumulator register, which will be very important um, for basically anything. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video. And I have one question for you guys. Should I start doing uh, Python tutorials? Leave that in the comments if you think I should. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the tutorial. Hey guys, so let's get into the tutorial. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to be able to take the output from the ALU and we need to be able to put it into um, some sort of register and then also be able to transfer that along to other sections of the, the ALU. So, or other sections of the CPU. Um, so I'm going to give you a little diagram of what we're going to be doing. Uh, so get some of this. Okay. So let's say this is the ALU right here. Um, we have our two inputs like so. And then we have um, our output, right? <coughs> Sorry if I'm coughing. I'm still a little bit sick. That's why I haven't been making as many videos. So we have our output, right? And we need to get that into another register that will act as kind of an intermediate, so something that can transfer uh, data to other parts of the, the CPU. And that's uh, very important. So essentially, this is our accumulator right here. And uh, this is going to transfer it to other components of the CPU, right? And we have um, another section which will be in the yellow wool, and this will be our um, this will be our register. So here's a register right here, register here, and uh, of course we would label these and these are all going to be um, used by this accumulator. So all the uh, all the data is traveling this way into these registers and then also um, we want to be able to take that data out so a simple way to do that is to um, just read directly from it. And then uh, of course we would have control lines so we only use these once we want to we don't want to be reading and writing to them constantly or else that would be very redundant so we just do this like that and the data is flowing this way <coughs> another thing um, that we want to have is uh, say we want to have RAM of course that's gonna go here and it's going to be the green wool. <coughs> uh, how appropriate because you know usually on a PCB it's it's green. So what we have here is we have a RAM and this can also be read from and written to but of course um, this would be much much larger. So be a, a much more different story. So this would connect here, and it can be read from at any time, uh, hence the name random access memory. So um, from, from the accumulator we can also write directly to the ALU, um, and usually we would have two different registers on the ALU or what I would do and those can be written to at any time if need be so that's going to show you the flow of, um, of uh, data so it would go into here and hit these registers and it would tell it which input it wants to go to so, for instance, if we took a value out of the register and we wanted to load it to input A, we would have a command for that. Um, 
and we would choose which register that we want to write to. So, uh, then that's uh, what we're going to be working on today. We're going to take all the inputs and we're going to put those into a register and then we're going to take those out and have extra, an extra set of registers uh, like so. So I'm going to just expand this line out till it reaches the end of this. <coughs> this is just so it's easier to actually transfer over data. So that'll be good. Um, so I'll be back once I've done it. Okay guys, so we're back and we got uh, all the lines set up. So now we just need a register to store the information. And I'm going to do this one because I quite like this one. It's not reliant on timing, which is um, a lot nicer than having to rely on timing where you have to get um, monostables working together. So what we're going to do is we're going to stack this from right here seven times because we do have a 8-bit ALU. So we have that all done. And then we're going to turn off the, the test bit. And I was using this to make sure I got a signal strength right. So what we want to do here is uh, put a line going across here. Hey guys, so we're back and we got the registers all set up. So we can get on to putting these back into the adder. So what we'll do is have a system like this going like that. <coughs> and uh, then we get a piece of glowstone right here. And we're going to just put that like that. And it's just going to go right through. And then we're going to put that into the adder. And that will complete our data loop. Okay, so we have everything uh, in order. So uh, this will be it for today's tutorial. Um, if you like this video, then go ahead and like it. But I will see you in the next video. So, bye.